Hello, peeps. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bull Talk by Joe Podcast. Hopefully, everybody is doing great. In today's episode, we will be discussing mental health in the United States. Well, Joe, why are you talking about mental health? That is because I am sure everybody's aware there's been another school shooting. The media is full of politicians fighting over the guns. And we need to fight over one of the most, one of the biggest problems in this country, which is mental health. Mental health is a topic that has gained more attention in recent years, especially with the COVID-19 pandemic. So according to the National Institute of Mental Health, approximately one in five adults in the United States experience mental illness each year, and one in six children aged 6 to 17 experience a mental health disorder each year. However, despite these numbers, mental health is still stigmatized in many communities, and individuals may not seek the help they need due to fear of discrimination and social repercussions. The pandemic has only exacerbated these issues, the isolation, loss, and uncertainty uncertainty that may have experienced can trigger or worsen mental health conditions. According to this study that I was reading by the Kaiser Family Foundation, the pandemic has caused a rise in depression and anxiety symptoms in the United States, with many people reporting that their mental health has been negatively affected. So, what can we do? So, what can we do to address mental health issues in the United States? Firstly, we need to we need to break down the stigma surrounding mental health. Mental illness is a medical condition and should and should be treated as such. People should not feel ashamed or embarrassed about seeking help for their mental health. Access to mental health services needs to be improved. Many individuals do not have access to affordable mental health care. And even those who do may not be able to find a provider who meets their needs. This is particularly true for a minor for true for minority and low income communities. Increasing funding for mental health services and training more mental health professionals can help address this issue. We need to prioritize mental health in our policies and practices. Employees should offer mental health resources and accommodations for their employees, and schools should provide mental health services for their students. I believe that is very important. Our healthcare system should prioritize mental health and provide more comprehensive coverage for mental health services. I believe in that. I believe that we should. This is a big, big problem. And some people just completely just run over this problem and this is a huge problem this is something that needs to be addressed like right now mental health is an important issue that affects many individuals and communities in the united states it's time to break down the stigma surrounding mental health and prioritize mental health case in our policies and practices by doing so we can ensure that all individuals have access to the care and resources that they need to live a healthy and fulfilling lives. That's what we need to concentrate on. We need to concentrate on taking care of our of our, of our people, of our citizens in this country, because this is an ongoing thing. People are just shooting up places, shooting up schools, committing crimes, and we're overlooking the mental health. The mental health, if if you are if you are a person that is that has no problems with mental health, you would never think about grabbing a weapon and going and hurting somebody. Or going to a school and shooting up a school. You wouldn't even think of that. That wouldn't even come to your mind. So it is obvious that if that comes to your mind and that's what you're thinking there is a problem right these people are suffering from mental from a mental illness 
and they need help, right? They need help. And we are not helping them. We are forgetting about them. We are we are like, oh, he's all right. Here you go. Why don't you take 50 milligrams of this shit right here so you can uh, feel better? And if you ever read these, the, the side effects on these pills, and you're like, holy crap, might as well not give them anything because it makes them worse. It makes some people worse. It makes them kill themselves. It makes them do crazy stuff. It is It is crazy that instead of helping them in a different way, we fill and we pump them full of drugs, right? And these people can have an emotional breakdown and something crazy could happen to them. And they could just run up to a gun shop and buy a gun. And there is no, there is no way you can tell. There is no way unless you have a bunch of psychologists selling weapons to you. But there is no way that you can tell that this person is going to buy a weapon to hurt somebody. You don't know if this person is going to jump in a car and just start driving and start hitting people. You don't know that because a car could be a weapon. Anything could be a weapon. If these people have something in their in their mind, on their mind, and they want to do it, it doesn't matter what they have. It doesn't matter if they have a gun, a bus, a car, a knife. They are going to try to inflict harm on themselves or other people. Mental health is important, and we need to talk about it. We need to help those people. If you have somebody in your family that is... They're like, hey, man, something's wrong with, something's going on here. Ask them, hey, are you all right? Do you need some help? Are you going through something? You want to talk about this? What's going on? You know, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Um, everything's fine. But if you know that, you know this person, you know that they don't act that way or they seem strange or they seem off, let's have that conversation. It could be tough, It could be tough, right? Because nobody wants to be like, hey, man, are you having some mental breakdowns here or what's going on? It could be tough, right? But there's something that has to be talked about because this is a big problem, right? This is a big problem. And it is it is sad, right? This is a sad situation that it, is happening in this country and we need to take care of it. We need to take care of this stuff before it just gets even worse. Even, even uh, you know, right now we are at a time where it's pretty bad, and I feel like a lot of things get overlooked because it's about money and power and and you know all those things and Biden and Trump and all this, and, and we forget about the mental health. We forget about helping people, and that should that should come with insurance. Like I said earlier, that should be part of the coverage. You know, if you can seek help, like that should be part of it. You should be a five dollar copay for that shit. Hey man, I'm having some mental health problems. Go ahead. It's covered through your insurance here. The government should cover mental health. No matter how much money you make, they should be able to cover mental health. Hey, you need some help? We have somewhere you can go. You should be able to go to college and be able to get a degree on this so you can be able to help people without having to spend $100,000 in college and be paid $25 an hour. You know, you should be able to it should be able to be affordable so you can go learn about this so you can become a professional you can help other people they should be able to not you should be able to go to college and not have to pay an arm and a leg for something like this because this is to help us this is something to help the people of this country right this is this is the kind of people that you need you should make it more affordable for them to go to college to learn these things so they can become professionals like i said so they can help other people pay them good money pay them good money so they can help Right, because people are not going to help if you're going to pay them twelve dollars and they owe a hundred thousand dollars for college. They're just going to do a different thing. They're going to go for a different career. So we need more of that. And they're wondering why there's a shortage of people. Well, there's a shortage of people because you don't. They're, they're not paying them enough money to deal with this. Dealing with somebody with a mental illness, with mental health problems, it's hard. You know, it's not like dealing with somebody that doesn't that is okay. They just have stresses over work or family. Dealing with somebody with with mental health problems is difficult, right? Because you don't know. You don't know what they're thinking. You have to try to figure out what's going on so you can try to help them out. This is super important. If you know anybody that is struggling from this or something seems off, have that conversation. Have that conversation. Have that conversation. You might be able to save their lives. 
save their life or other people's lives. Until next time, peace.